Head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. When the whole Kevin was hired and we were looking for defensive coordinators, I had noticed that on Joe Wood's resume, he literally went from a top five defense, which we were last year, to a 22nd ranked defense. And that's how his stint was in Denver. And I literally said about months ago, like, how the qualities that he presented in Denver were showing up here in Cleveland. But like everybody is saying, I think that we should get a veteran presence in the defensive coaching room, somebody who's a lot possibly older. But I wouldn't mind going younger because that's what a lot of people are doing now. But, yeah, go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Let's welcome in Jackson McCurry, the Dogland and Top Dogs podcast. Um, Jackson, it doesn't seem like they have a specific quote-unquote trait qualities in mind because you've got guys like Schwartz and uh, Flores who've been head coaches and you got guys like Mayo and Desai who are young kind of up-and-comers so it sounds like Kevin Svansky's keeping an open mind in this search yeah I think you have to I think you can't go in with just oh we want to target this guy I think you have to cast a wide net you know interview as many people as possible I think that's a good way to formulate who you truly think is going to be the best option because you know like they can interview like say Flores and Schwartz and then just completely whiff if you know somebody else comes along and goes to another team and has a great defense and then everybody's gonna be like why didn't the Browns interview that guy why did they let him walk to another team so I think they do it the right way I think they formulate a good process search high and low for the best candidate possible and hopefully they find that right guy when you're looking at this, what do you want to see? The thing I want, I want their defense to be more aggressive. I, I don't care who it is. I want that defense. They were too passive and reactive. I want to see an aggressive style of defense. Yeah, I definitely would like to see an aggressive style too. That's why I think out of all the candidates mentioned so far, Jim Schwartz would be my top choice just because he's always had an aggressive style defense, whether it was in Tennessee, whether it was in Detroit when he was the head coach or when he was the D coordinator in Philly. Like he always had an aggressive style defense. And I seem to like that. Like I liked Greg Williams when he was here as defensive coordinator, not saying I would like Greg Williams back, even though some Browns fans are clamoring for it. But someone that is aggressive, um, you know, has a knack for creating turnovers on the defensive side of the ball, that would be somebody that I would like the most when uh, during this searching process. Yeah, I would agree with you. That's, that's a name that um, I, I liked when I saw that as well as Jim Schwartz.